Hello, I'm Shan Li. Let me show you how to draw the bubble chart in this plugin called Figma NB Charts. Let's take a look. There are already some basic parameters here. Then I will draw one first to show you the result. We need to create a new frame. The range of this box is the size of the chart. After it is generated, click the drawing button. The basic bubble chart is finished quickly. Next, Take a look at the parameters here. The basic information in this tutorial, as well as the vertical and horizontal lines, have been explained in great detail in the line chart tutorial. If anyone needs it, you can check out the first half of the line chart tutorial. For bubble chart, I will focus on demonstrating the data settings for you. Here you can set the data range of the x-axis and y-axis. Currently, their data range is 100. However, the difference between a bubble chart and a scatter chart is that in addition to the x-axis and y-axis values, it also has its own data values. Let's take a look here. Specific data values can be entered below. Let's focus on the format of the data values. The format of the data value is the value of the x-axis, y-axis, and the data value of the bubble. These three data are separated by commas. Then enter a space, and then enter the next data. Let me show you a demonstration. Start by entering a space at the end of the previous data value. Then enter x, comma, y, and the data value. Don't forget this comma, and a space. Then continue entering the next data value. The size of the bubble is proportional to the value, so I set the value of this bubble to 100. Draw a relatively large bubble. Click the drawing button. Now, there are 7 bubbles in data 1, and the bubble size increases with the value within this range. Let me introduce the application of random data, which is very convenient. Click on it, and enter how many bubbles you need to set. I entered 10. Now, the corresponding number of data values appears in this box. Click the drawing button. These values are randomly generated and within the data range. What if we want to draw a bubble chart of multiple sets of data? Click the plus sign to the right of the data to add a set of data, then data 2 appears below. Moreover, the number of data values in data 2 is consistent with data 1. I will change the color of data 2 in order to make the distinction between data 1 and data 2 more obvious. Bubble charts of multiple sets of data look more beautiful. Of course, you can continue to add more sets of data. If you want to delete it, click this icon. Finally, I will introduce the settings of point. Currently, these points are the most basic styles. We can set its size range and add a stroke. Different from the scatter chart, the point size of the bubble chart is a range. The current point has no stroke. So it is zero. I changed it to two and set a darker color. No text is displayed above the current point. I turn on this switch. We can choose the text content you want to display. Click the drawing button. This is what it looks like after drawing. Here you can change the offset distance. I'll change it to 15. Obviously, the texts and dots are further apart. Okay, this part of the tutorial is over. Thanks.